the sum of the supplement and the complement of an angle is 130 degrees. The sum is 130 degrees. Find the measure of the angle. So I'm going to call the angle just x, but I'll leave it for now because I want to explain how to find the supplement and the complement of an angle. And let's just uh, pick a random number to illustrate this. Pick 70 degrees. Random number. What is the supplement of 70 degrees? In other words, what is the other angle over here that added up to 70 would give us 180 degrees? Because that way they would be supplementary. That'd be 110 degrees, right? Because 70 degrees plus 110 degrees would give us 180 degrees. That means that they're supplementary. So 110 is the supplement of 70, and the reverse is also true. Okay, so let's pick another example. 20 and 160. They're supplementary, so one is the supplement of the other. All right, so now I think that uh, that is well understood. These are supplements. But now let's look for the complements. What is a complement of 70 degrees? That'd be just 20. Why is that? Because complementary angles add up to 90. So the complement is whatever angle added up to the original would give us 90 degrees. So the complement of 70 would be 20. Let's just use another random example here. The complement of 50 would be 40 because 40, 40 plus 50 is 90 degrees. So I'm going super slow here. Hopefully you're still with me. <laughs> and how do we find the supplement of an angle? We can just subtract it from 180. So that is the supplement. 180 minus x. What about the complement? Just 90 minus x. That's the complement. People are uh, laughing around the office today. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Uh, now, we know that the sum of the supplement and the complement is 130 degrees. So this plus this is 130. Then we can solve for x. So 180 minus x plus 90 minus x. We're talking about the sum, right? So we're adding these guys. Is equal to 130. So I actually won't even write the degree sign there. Um, 180 plus 90 is just 270. Negative x minus x is just negative 2x, and that's equal to 130 degrees. Now I can subtract 130 from both sides of the equation, and I'll just continue over here because I'm running out of room. 130 is cancelled out, so on the right side of the equal sign we just have 0. 270 minus 130 is just 140 degrees and we have the negative 2x still right there, so we'll add 2x to both sides of the equation. So 140 is equal to 2x, so I can divide both sides by 2, and x is just going to be 140 divided by 2, 70 degrees. That's just a coincidence that I picked 70 here, by the way. <laughs> and, um, okay, that is actually just the measure of the angle that we were looking for. And let's just confirm it. Let's just plug things in here. We know that the complement of 70 is just 20, right? Because 90 minus 70 is 20. And the supplement of 70 is just 110. So if we add the complement of 70 to the supplement of 70, that's just 130 degrees. And by the way, this was, this was just a complete fluke that it picked 70 to explain what supplements and complements were. That's funny. <laughs> and that's it.